Hi, this is Anita with Workflow Grow, bringing you Express Desk Stretch. And this is the last installment of my series on stress, at least my last installment for now. As we've discussed, and as you are probably aware, stress is the number one problem in the workplace. And it's pretty much a problem for a lot of people in life, especially these days, these post-pandemic days. And so from previous posts, uh, check them out if you haven't seen them. You should now have a better understanding of knowing exactly where stress comes from. You know, how does our brain send hormones out to our body that cause us to react sometimes the way and feel the way that we do and therefore react? Uh, how to recognize it and how some things that you can do on a regular basis to minimize stress in your life. But from time to time, things just happen out of the blue. We get blindsided and we get triggered. So the practicing the flow process that I introduced last time will help you to minimize negative reactions. But, you know, sometimes, you know, what just happens and off we go. So I have a similar process. It's also called flow for handling those up, up, up out of nowhere situations where we are feeling triggered. And so it stands for the same four things. F stands for foundation. And, you know, the foundation to life is breathing. So the number one thing to do when you feel triggered is to stop and bring focus to your breath. This will help to slow down your heart rate and it will give your brain time to get out of that fight, flight, freeze mode and into a better decision making mode. So simply exhaling for twice as long as you inhale for about four rounds of breath really should do the trick. Um, and that's actually going to be the focus of our breath work after our stretches today. And then secondly is to listen, you know, that more listen to yourself, check in with yourself. What is your mood? Your mood strongly influences your reaction to things. So if you're feeling angry, it might be best to let that email sit for an hour or so and take a break before you respond so that you can cool down. It's totally fine to express anger as long as it's expressed appropriately. When we immediately react to something, especially out of anger or frustration, we oftentimes don't present our best self. So just check in with your mood, give yourself a moment to calm down, chill out, and you usually will move forward uh, in, a, in a more on-purpose way. Third, the O is options. And before you react, consider the options. Sometimes your first knee-jerk reaction may not be your best. So if you followed the first two steps, uh, foundation and listening to yourself, your brain will probably be able to come up with a couple of options for addressing the issue. So give yourself a few minutes to think about, you know, what are, what are two to three options, not just this first knee-jerk reaction. And then number four, the W, wrap it up. So now that you've settled down and you've come up with a few options, pick the one that you think is going to be best and wrap up the situation by either having the conversation that you need to have or taking the action that you need to take. Don't let it fester. If you've done the first three steps, then your action is probably going to be on purpose and appropriate. And this will hopefully resolve the situation and you can move forward without spending any more mental energy on it. So next, I'm going to show you about five minutes worth of movement and stretches that you can do to use to what I would say, check yourself before you wreck yourself. So uh, we'll take this quick break and I will see you for some movement and stretches. This five minutes or so of movement uh, can really help you do what I like to think of when it when these stressful moments happen is check yourself before you wreck yourself. And so all of this movement in the next five minutes or so is going to help you to just really get more on purpose with whatever is supposed to come next after being triggered by a stressful event. As always, we will start with a couple of sun A's just to get our blood flowing and warmed up a little bit. So reach uh, your hands up, inhale, big inhale, forward fold, side out, exhale, halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale, and back up to standing, extend a mountain. One more time, forward fold, exhale, halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale, and back up to standing. All right, so this first move that we're gonna do 
is what I call slams. So uh, it's a great way actually to release a little bit of aggression. So reach your hands up over your head, come up on the balls of your feet, and then bring your hands down like you're slamming a ball down. You want it to bounce up as high as a basketball goal. So doing this a few times just, uh, just gets any kind of aggression or anger out. Let's do that four more times. One, two, and inhale on you when you come up. Exhale when you come down. Three, four. All right. Next move, separate your feet a little bit uh, further than hip width distance and reach your hands up over your head and then circle your body. This is called around the world. Circle, circle your body clockwise four times clockwise and then we'll do four times counterclockwise. So this gets almost all of your major joints and body parts uh, opened up, stretched out, and uh, I've lost count. I think this is the last one. <laughs> and come back up and around the world, counterclockwise. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come up. The best thing that you can do to manage stress, really, is connecting your breath to movement. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time after this. Inhale up, exhale down. And come back to center. You know, what the connecting your breath to movement does is it gets you in your parasympathetic nervous system, which enables you to make better decisions. Okay, next is just take a simple bind behind your back. We do this quite a bit, but just opening up your shoulders uh, because a lot of people hold stress in their shoulders. So this is a great way to release some of that stress and lift your chin up towards the ceiling. And then bring your hands down to your knees and take a few rounds of cat cow. So cat is arching your back up, pull the pit of your belly in and up and cow, press your chest down, lift your chin up. Cat, arch it up, exhale in cat, inhale on cow. Two more, exhale cat, inhale cow. Last time, exhale cat, inhale cow, and exhale, come back to neutral. So staying right there in that position with your hands on your knees, now turn your toes out towards the side. Drop your right shoulder towards your left. So this is kind of a ringing out, ringing out. I like to think about getting rid of what's not serving me. So any frustration and disappointment, um, all natural feelings, anger, um, sadness, all natural feelings. And we want to not necessarily hang on to it for all that long. So I just like the metaphor of ringing out. All right, one more time, each side. <clears throat> Drop your right shoulder to your, towards your left knee. This is a great lower back opener and hip opener. And one more time, drop your left shoulder to your right knee. And one more move, keeping your hands at your knees, sliding them down your calf to your ankles. This is a standing frog pose. So this is a great hip opener here as well. Use the leverage of your forearms to press your knees and your shins back. Sink your hips down, reach the crown of your head up. We hold a lot of stress in our hips, actually. So anytime you can do any kind of hip opener helps to relieve some of that stress. And release your bind, straighten your legs, and roll on up to standing. So that's just five minutes of moving right there that will give you just that quick purposeful pause and enable you to hit the reset button. And like I said, check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right, join us for one minute of breath work that also you can do right in a, uh, a meeting or a situation. Nobody's necessarily going to know, but it does help to get your uh, brain back functioning in a more rational state. So I will see you for one minute of breath work. So as I have alluded to in this post, and I have mentioned this in many of my other uh, videos and posts, is that um, getting bringing your focus to your breath is one of the best ways to manage stress, and especially that that triggering heat of the moment kind of stress. And our focus today is going to be on uh, exhaling for twice as long as inhaling, and we will do four rounds of that. We're going to inhale for three counts and exhale for six counts. So get, get into a comfortable position 
and bring your attention to your breath. Inhale for three counts. One, two, three. Exhale for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale for three. One. Exhale for six. Inhale for three. Exhale six. One more time. Inhale three. Exhale six. All it really takes is three to four rounds of that, and it will help to lower your heart rate and uh, get, let your brain get functioning better. And it's something that you can do just sitting right in a meeting or just uh, taking a moment before you respond to that email or step into a conversation, whatever the case might be. And nobody even has to know. You don't have to call a big attention to it. You can be doing it sitting right in front of the person that might be triggering you. So anyway, I hope that, that you have found this series helpful. And next month, we will be moving into a series on mental health. See you next time.